Sigoni, Sigoni, how's your macaroni? In today's tutorial, we're making an easy, modern crochet storage basket. You can use this basket to store all of your crochet trinkets, to hold your car keys and other everyday items, to decorate your bathroom like we did, or really anywhere in your home. It has this beautiful texture that will look great with any accent color. I will leave all the materials and the link to the full written pattern in the description box below. You can find them by clicking show more underneath the video and scrolling down to find all additional information. For this pattern, you will need three skeins of paint box cotton DK, two skeins of your main color, and one skein of your accent color. Please take a look at the written pattern for some great alternatives to this yarn. You will also need a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a tapestry needle. We'll be holding two strands of yarn throughout the entire project. Now to get started, we're going to place six single crochet into a magic circle. If you've never done this before, I'll quickly demonstrate, but if this is too quick for you, I do have a tutorial de dedicated to the magic circle that I will link below. Using your pointer finger and thumb, hold on to your tail end. Wrap your yarn around your pointer and middle fingers twice, creating an X. Use your ring finger to pinch the loose end so it doesn't fall apart. Grab your hook and insert it underneath the first two strands and over the last two. Grab the yarn and pull under the other set of yarn and twist your hook towards you. Use your working yarn to chain one and secure your magic loop. Now to begin our pattern, we're going to place six single crochet into our magic circle. Insert your hook into the circle, yarn over, pull up a loop, and you'll have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through those two loops. Now make five more single crochets into your circle. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now pull the tail of your magic circle tight to close. And slip stitch to your very first single crochet. And that is the end of round one. For round two, we're going to chain one and increase into each stitch around. The chain one does not count as a stitch, so this is where we'll place our first increase, which is two single crochet into the same stitch. Now place two single crochet in each stitch around. At the end of round two, you should have 12 single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now remember that this stitch is not a stitch, so we will skip this and slip stitch to our first single crochet of the round. Now chain one and we'll start round three. Place one single crochet into the very first stitch. Then place two single crochet into the next stitch. This is our increase. One single crochet into the next stitch.
and two single crochet into the next. Repeat this pattern around, ending with two single crochet in your last stitch. At the end of round three, you should have 18 single crochet. At the end of round three, you should have 18 single crochet. Slip stitch to your first single crochet and we'll begin round four. Chain one and place one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Now we'll place our increase in the next stitch, which is two single crochet. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches. and two single crochet into the next. Now repeat this pattern around and I'll meet you back at the end of round four. Slip stitch to your first single crochet and at the end of round four, you should have 24 stitches. For round five, chain one and place one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. Then two single crochet into the next stitch. One single crochet into each of the next three stitches. and two single crochet into the next. Again, repeat this pattern around and slip stitch to your first stitch. At the end of this round, you should have 30 stitches. Now for rounds six through 12, you will continue e increasing in each round. For round six, you will single crochet into the next four and then increase in the next stitch, which is two single crochet in the same stitch and repeat that around. For round seven, you will single crochet into the next five, increase, single crochet into the next five, increase, and so on. For round 12, you will have 10 single crochet in between each increase leaving you with 72 stitches in round 12. So I will meet you at the end of round 12. Now that we've reached the end of round 12, we're done with the base of our basket. So now we're going to start working on the sides. To create the sides, we're just going to single crochet into each stitch around. For rounds 13 through 20, single crochet in each stitch around and slip stitch at the end of each round you will end up with eight plain rounds of single crochet. Now that we've reached the end of round 20, you'll see that our basket is starting to take shape. So now we're going to switch to our accent color. Instead of slip stitching to the first stitch with the same color, I'm going to grab my new yarn. If you don't feel comfortable changing your yarn this way, feel free to slip stitch as normal tie off your work and start round 21 with your new color. As for me, I'm going to insert my hook, grab my new color and create a slip stitch as normal. Now to start round 21, chain one and we're going to create a single crochet spike stitch into the very first single crochet. To create a spike stitch, insert your hook into the base of the first single crochet yarn over, pull up a loop, reaching the same height so that your hook is horizontal with your work. Yarn over and pull through both loops. Now single crochet as normal into the next stitch. Single crochet spike stitch into the next. 
So insert your hook at the base of the next single crochet, pull your yarn up so that it reaches the same height, yarn over and pull through two, just like a single crochet. Single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet spike stitch into the base of the next stitch. Single crochet as normal into the next stitch and repeat the same pattern around. Spike stitch, single crochet, spike stitch, single crochet. At the end of this round, you will end with a regular single crochet into your last stitch. Slip stitch into your first spike stitch of the round. For round 22, chain one and single crochet as normal into the first spike stitch. Now spike stitch into the next single crochet by inserting your hook into the base of that single crochet. Pull your yarn up to the same height so that it's not too tight. Yarn over and pull through two. Single crochet as normal into the next. And then spike stitch into the next. Again, repeat this pattern around and you will end with a spike stitch in the last single crochet. Slip stitch to the first single crochet and chain one to start your next round. For the next three rounds, we're going to be alternating these last two rounds. So for round 23, you will begin with a spike stitch and end with a single crochet. Round 24, you will begin with a single crochet and end with a spike stitch. Round 25, you will begin with a spike stitch and end with a single crochet. So I will meet you at the end of round 25. Now that we've reached round 25, you should have five rows of alternating spike and single crochet stitches. For round 26, you will slip stitch into each stitch around to create a nice, clean, pretty border. Make your slip stitches a little loose, just so they're not too tight. At the end of the round, slip stitch into the last space, tie off your work, and weave in your ends. And now we're all done with your basket. You can find the full written tutorial for this pattern for free at SigoniMacaroni.com. You will find a link and all of the materials needed in the description box below. If you liked this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to see all of the latest video tutorials. Also, don't forget to click that bell button so that it notifies you whenever I have a new video. I hope you enjoyed this pattern and I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.